as far as I, I know, it was explained to me by the proponents, uh, they want to hit it before July. So, cool. July, July visit. So, totoo yung sinasabi kumakalat ngayon na kumakalat na ano ngayon na July timeline? Oh, yeah. So, I confirmed that. So, confirm yun? Kung, I confirmed that nga eh. Kasi sabi ni Kong Irving, wala daw po siyang alam doon sa July timeline. Hindi po niya alam. Well, alam mo kasi, hindi naman kami nga, that tells you that uh, it's not a particular, um, it's not a monopoly or it's not, um, it's not, it's not an initiative that, of course, it's nice to, House Initiative PI is a nice uh, headline. But basically, you, can, you cannot do it you have to still live by the spirit of the people's initiative as it's trying in the constitution that it is the people there has to be that here right you can confirm or the yung tuloy ba nakaga na ano po so you can i think of confirmation july 8th na certification of the approval of the proposal by majority of votes cast yes so majority of the votes cast and like visit na nang june meron nang publication na correct Tama po. Yes. I saw that. I saw that timeline. Oh, so sila, um, baka sila, baka sila gumawa ng timeline para sa amin. <laughs> but you know, I know that uh, July is a timeline. Pero there's a specific so term. Ano, confirm? confirm Why do I have to confirm something that I already know? Because we don't know. I mean, that's right. I'm saying uh, I, I, I offered the word July. I did, I did not refer to some by somebody's documents. Because if you want to know, you need me to confirm that. No, I offered the word July. That uh, during such discussion and explanation by the proponents of the People's Initiative. So, who is it, sir? Why not we? Ako inano lang. No, the, the the issue here is the fact that uh, the the reckoning of the constitution is by district. So I did not invent that. So how do you reckon now? It is the constitution that made the district as the point of reckoning, not Congress. Yes, and since I believe I. I Oh my God, uh, I've been in this Congress since uh, 1998. I've always fought for... Kasi uh, pagtinignan mo, lahat ng chart na show na we started to break away downwards from the entire Asia in 1919-1987. Where we started falling behind. And I was an analyst in, in the stock market. And I know just how what happened to us. Because while uh, everybody else opened up, we closed. We closed further. May lumalabas sa Twitter na nandyan yung 1902. Tama yun. Kasi 1902, yung mga Democrats were so racist. They did not want to annex the Philippines. So they put all these restrictions for Americans to invest in the Philippines. And it was carried into the 1935 Constitution. And that was carried in the 1972 Constitution. And by the time, in uh, 1987, dinagdagan pa na mass media, na advertising, na education, practice of professions. So, in short, in fact, we became the fourth most restrictive country in the whole world. And it's here. It's not by me. It's by the OECD. So the three top barriers to FDIs, the number one is foreign ownership restriction, and this is by the OECD. And in this country, the restrictions, okay naman the restrictions are in the law, eh? Because at least once there is sufficient public um, support or constituency for a more liberal foreign direct investment uh, regime, then we can change the law. But the Constitution, we have 358 attempts. So, I mean, the, the, the facts, we should be database, we should be science.